All right, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I want to go ahead and do a fall makeup look because I've been wanting to use the Fenty Beauty Underdog Lip Stun Up Paint. Y'all have seen this before on Instagram and YouTube, but it's just a pretty dark burgundy shade. I think it looks good in every skin tone out there. So if you're thinking about picking this up, please let me know down below. Um, but that could be my question for you guys, actually. Do you plan on picking this up or not? Let me know down below. So with that being said, make sure you like and subscribe before you start the video, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, you guys, so I'm so excited for today's video because I finally get to use the Fenty Beauty Underdog Lip Stunner. I always want to say lip gloss, but it's Lip Stunner. And it's like a very, like, burgundy color. It's so deep and dark, and I cannot wait to wear it. Um, but I already went ahead and did one eye off camera because I don't want to make this video too long. But this is a look that I'm going for, and hopefully it looks good with the Lip Stunner paint a little bit later on. So moving right onto the eyes, I'm first going to conceal it with the P. Louise base. I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer, that way y'all can really see the eye look. And I'm using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor number six all over my eyes. And also you guys, I have a really bad cold. So yeah, um, if I sound a little bit funny, that is the reason why. So let me show you guys what this shade looks like on my eyes because I did a whole review of it on my channel. But when it comes to darker skin tones, I feel like this shade is just perfect because it has a neutral base to it, which allows for the shadows to like really pop on the eyes and also last all day. So I've been really, really loving this base. Okay, so next I'm going in with my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, and I know I've been using this a lot on my channel, but when it comes to fall, I feel like this palette has like the perfect shades in here, so I always go to it, um, but I will switch it up in a little bit. So what I'm going to use first is called Horizon, and it's this shade right here in the center. I'm just going to put that in my crease area just to have like a nice transition shade. And using my Morphe M504 brush, I'm just going to put this into my crease and blend. Okay, so now moving on to the next shade, I do have Terra, which is a red-brown shade. I'm just going to put this in the crease, but a little bit below the first shade. Um, and I'm using my MAC, let's see, MAC 217 brush. And you guys, I'm so out of breath because I'm sick and, like, it's hard to talk and breathe at the same time. So, let me get it together. <laughs> And y'all can see I'm taking it a little bit lower than the first shade, like right in the socket of the eyes. So once the shade is blended out in the crease, what I'm going to do next is actually take it a little bit further down like this at an angle. That way we really get a lot of color in that area. So this next shade I'm actually excited for because I've been waiting for the longest to use it and it's called Pangene and it's this red shade right here you guys like it's so pigmented very nice and it blends well on the eyes of course so I'm using my Morphe M441 brush and what I'm gonna do is lightly take this onto the brush I'm kind of just blending it in the crease like this like it's not going everywhere I'm kind of like concentrating it a little bit more than the other colors so just put it in the crease area and just blend back and forth. So funny enough, when it comes to eyeshadow colors like this, I noticed that it looks red in the pan, but when you put it on the eyes, it actually looks a lot more purple than anything. Um, I don't know any red, red shades out there because with this, it does have red in it, of course, but it looks more purple than anything. So I just want to go ahead and mention that. So we're almost done with the eyes. And the last shade I do have for you guys is from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. And I do have Americano right here it's like a purplish brown color it's very very deep on the eyes so with this make sure you take your time because it's very very pigmented so i'm just gonna place it right here in the outer corner first and just build the color up and then i'll just blend into the crease So 
So the last one I do have is the lids, of course, and I'm taking the shade called Bronze Age, which is the shade right here. And when I tell you guys it is so pigmented, I'm not even lying to you. Let me go ahead and put it on the eyes. Like, y'all can just see, like, you don't need any Mac Fix Plus or anything like that. It's just pigmented by itself. And to finish up the eyes, I'm taking my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Alright, so moving on to the face, I'm using my YSL primer, of course. You guys already know, I use it all the time on my channel. Um, but I do want to update you guys on my life because a lot has been going on. So if you guys don't know, I didn't tell anyone, of course. But um, I started a full-time job in the city, which I'm so excited for because I actually really do like the job. Like, it's fun and the people in there are just really nice um, and really cool. So I'm excited for the job. But at the same time, you guys, I work full-time over there now now so I barely have time to film and do Instagram stuff so it's been a little bit hectic for me as of lately because my other job I had half days on Tuesdays so I could film and do everything I needed to do um, before work but now it's like I have to use the weekend and everything like that which is not bad but at the same time like on the weekends I like to have fun and go out with my friends but now I have to film and everything like that so it's just a little bit of balance and trying to figure out how to do everything but for those who do YouTube and also work full time let me know down below how you budget your time because i'm struggling as of right now so yeah any tips or advice would help and to color correct my face i'm taking my mac orange color corrector i'm just gonna put this all over the areas that i do have dark marks and i've noticed with my skin over time i really don't have as much dark marks as i used to which I'm so happy for, and it's because of the skincare routine I've been doing lately. If you guys want to know how I got rid of all the dark marks on my face, just let me know down below and I'll film a whole video on it. So I really don't need to color correct, but I'm so used to doing it that I have to do it. Um, so that's the only reason why. Alright, so for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Coconut. This foundation I've been loving as of lately because literally it makes my skin look flawless. And the fact that it's only drugstore is so crazy to me because it does perform a lot better than my high-end foundations. So keep that in mind. But I literally tell everybody about this foundation because it looks so good on everyone's skin. So definitely check it out. And it does say it's a full coverage foundation, but at the same time, I feel like it's a medium to full coverage foundation because you can kind of still see your skin peeking through but at the same time if you do layer it it does become a little bit more full coverage and when it comes to color matching you guys like y'all can't tell me this foundation doesn't match me to the t like look at my chest and look at my face like it doesn't get better than that all right, so for concealer, I'm actually using something a little bit different because you guys know I've been using my CoverFX PowerPlay Concealer all the time on my channel. So for this video, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know it's not a new product, but at the same time, I haven't used it in such a long time. And when I put it on my face, I noticed that it makes my under eyes look very nice and smooth and flawless. So I'm so glad I went back and got this again. And I'm using the shade Deep. Um, for those who are wondering but one thing I do want to say is my braids you guys I have been loving my braids but at the same time I know y'all probably thinking like Chi Chi it's about time to take it out which it is um but at the same time um I hate doing my hair so I've noticed when I started doing braids and twists and all that good stuff that I love just waking up and just like going on about my day without having to worry about my hair um but I do want to wear my natural hair out soon because I do miss it um so yeah I just want to go ahead and mention that because I know y'all are probably like judging you know how long I cut these braids in but I'm really really lazy so that is that but let me just blend this into my skin and I noticed with the concealer you guys one thing I noticed is it's kind of like my skin tone shade because when I put it on it doesn't really highlight much but at the same time when it comes to the other shades the one above it is too dark and the one below it is too light so deep is the only shade I can use as of now so yeah
Now for the under eyes, I typically bake my under eyes because I'm very oily, but I'm not going anywhere today, so there's no point of doing that. But I'm using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Kanafa. I'm just gonna lightly set my under eyes. Oh yeah, so to set the face, I'm actually using something a little bit different because I completely forgot I had it in my collection. That's what happens when you have a lot of makeup. So I'm using my Char Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Dark 3. Um, I used to love this powder and I just stopped using it when I got the Hourglass powder, but this powder is still really good when it comes to setting the face. So I'm going to lightly press this onto the skin and y'all can tell like it just disappears. Like you can't really tell where the powder is. And moving on to bronzer, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coconati, of course. Um, I tell you guys all the time, this is my favorite bronzer in the whole entire world. Like the formula, it's just perfect. It blends really well on the skin. It's just a nice bronzer and all. So let me just put this on my face. I still want them to add a little bit more um, colors when it comes to the shade range because this shade is good, but the next shade up is too red. So I feel like they need one more like in between shade and we're good to go. Now for setting spray, I've been really loving this setting spray, you guys. I use it all the time, and it just makes my skin look really good. But at the same time, it keeps me matte, and it's a Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace setting spray. If you're looking for a setting spray that'll make you glowy, but at the same time keep you matte throughout the day, I know it sounds confusing. This is a setting spray for you because it just does everything I want, and it's only $18, which is a good price. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the rest of my eyes off camera because I did want to save some time. And I only used two shades. I used Horizon and Terra, these two right here. And I just buffed it underneath my eyes and I was good to go. But moving on to blush, I'm taking my MAC Raisin Blush because I feel like it goes with this whole entire look. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this because I already have a lot going on with the eyes. So I don't want to apply too much blush. So to highlight my face, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow Loose Highlighter. I'm just going to apply that all over. Alright, so last but not least is my favorite part that I've been waiting for, and it's the lips, of course. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Center Lip Paint in the shade Underdog, and with this, it is limited edition. So if you do want it, make sure you go ahead and grab it because it will be gone. Um, but let me show you guys up close what the shade looks like. Like, it, it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, it matches my shirt and everything like that. So excited to try this out. So let me get my mirror because I don't want to mess up this application. But let's see what it looks like on the lips. Y'all, y'all, this looks better than what I thought, okay? Like, it has this nice red shade, but it's so deep, and it looks good on all skin tones. Like, wow. No, but seriously, you guys, if you're considering picking this up, I say go to the store right now or on the website and pick it up because it looks so good on the lips. And also, I may go ahead and get a second one because this little bottle right here won't last me a long time. So I may just pick up a second one. But this shade, y'all, it looks so good. So it is getting a little bit late outside, but this is a completed look, you guys. And I'm just in love with it because it reminds me of fall, the lips, the colors on the eyes. Like, everything just looks really good. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know down below your thoughts before you go ahead and leave. So I love you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.